What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a glitch effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, after making last week's tutorial on a glitch effect in Photoshop, people were commenting how to do this in Sony Vegas, so here's that video. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see, I have Vegas Pro 14 up and this is the clip I'll be demonstrating with, the same one you saw at the start. Now you'll notice when I done my glitch effect, I made it in a transition. So it changed from this guy right here to the sniper on here. So I'll be showing you how to do that as well. So first of all, we're going to find where the switch happened. So it's right there as you can see. And I'm going to lay down a marker by pressing M on my keyboard right here. Next I'm going to do is right click and duplicate this track. Now we're going to be using the event pan and crop. So what we're going to be doing is using the mask tool. So select this so it's enabled. And now we find where we want this effect to happen. Now, of course, I don't want it to happen right here because that's going to be right where the transition happens. So I'm going to go back a couple of frames. OK, that should be good. And now all I'm going to do is lay down a keyframe by pressing this button. Now we're going to come to the rectangle tool or square mask creation tool and just draw out these lines like so. Simple, just like this. And there we go, I'm done with that. And now what you want to do, select this keyframe, go back one keyframe by pressing this button over here, and now right click, select reset mask. Now if you zoom in, you'll see there are two keyframes here. So one without these masking tools and one with. Now you want to head over to position just by double clicking up here and you've laid down a keyframe. Now we're going to begin this effect. So all we're going to do, we're going to go past one keyframe by pressing the right on our keyboard or pressing right over here. And now we're going to left click here and go left like that. Now I recommend you have snapping enabled because this will help uh, with this part. And then go back one keyframe and then put it back to the center. Go another keyframe, back to the left maybe, another keyframe back to the center, another keyframe, go up, another keyframe, go down, oops, another keyframe, maybe right, and you just play around with this, so I'm just going to fast forward all this part because I'm pretty sure you understand all of it now, and uh, yeah, I'll be back to you when I've done it all. Okay, so as you can see, this keyframe has just taken us to the sniper, so we're only going to put a few keyframes here as the sniper's already on screen. Next thing we need to do, we need to come here to the bottom and make sure we're on mask. Lay down a keyframe right on this last positioned keyframe. So we're going to press this button right here. Then we're going to come across one keyframe. And now we're just going to right click, reset mask. So let's play this through and we'll see what we've just done. Just like that, we've created the effect. Now you will see, uh, you can see right there the masking is showing on screen. That is what we don't want. So we're actually going to size this up using the track motion tool. So come here, select track motion and simply enlarge it by coming to the corner and making it bigger until we get these off screen. And then just drag this keyframe to the start, delete this first keyframe here, pressing it, delete on your keyboard, drag this keyframe there. And now we can play this through. And that is now much better. But that is it for this tutorial. As you can tell, it's very simple to do, but it's also very effective. It looks so much more better when you add music and maybe a sound effect. Like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. I'm a